You know, I think one of the biggest challenges on Thanksgiving Day is carving the turkey. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. The most important thing when you start carving a turkey is to remove the wishbone. I don't mean for wishing purposes, which is always fun later on with the kids, but because that wishbone gets in the way of the knife going down either side of the breast. So the first thing you do is just go down the back of the turkey as soon as you remove the skin from that area. You'll see the outline of the wishbone and you just go down either side. Just twist it and there we go. All right, now I am gonna turn the turkey on its side. We're just gonna take the wings off. You're gonna pop the joint. The good thing about poultry is it lets you know see if you go like this where the ball and socket joint is and that's where you can separate the wing from the rest of the bird. So I'm going to take the other wing off again pull it back here's the ball here's the socket those uh, biology classes in elementary school were very useful. Now I'm just going to take the whole leg thigh joint off so there is our first leg thigh and I'm gonna do our second one. All right, now for what some people think is the most delicious part of the whole bird. It's called the oyster. We turn the bird so it's breast side down. Two little nuggets. It's really moist, it's really tender, it's so flavorful. So, before I move on to the breast, let me carve up the dark meat. And here we go with this guy. And then I'm switching to the chef's knife because I want to get slices more even. All right, now we're going to move on to the breast. The breastbone runs right down the middle. See, you can actually see it prominently right here. And we're going to go straight down. So now I am going to slice. I'm slicing the turkey a little thicker than normally you see it for two reasons. It shreds a lot less when you slice it thicker, and also it stays more moist because it doesn't have as much of a chance to dry out. So we, now we take our knife down the other side, trying to stick as close to the rib cage as you can so we get more meat off. We're at the point where we've got our platter nicely done. So now we've got some very pretty garnishes. Some orange slices, some cranberries, some fresh herbs. Okay, now, at this point, you're thinking, oh no, this is cold. Well, here's the secret. Take some heated broth and just pour it right over the meat. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much, Sarah. You know how much we love you. We're always grateful for you. You can get more of her brilliance right now on season 10 of Sarah's Weeknight Meals. And of course, that's on public television. And all you guys have to do is check your local listings.